All right, Ben Bank, today is Monday. It is November 6th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports, Snake Draft Monday. We're joined on Zoom by Glenny Balls, Marty Mush. Uh, Glenny, I mean, uh, Marty, we'll start with you. You're notoriously horrible at these things. So <laughs> I won the last one I was on, scumbag. Wait, what'd you win? <laughs> Carnival. No, you, that wasn't the what last did, one you were on. What did he? What'd you, you win? Which you I won the I won the carnival. You were on Sweet Candy yeah. and you drafted Fruit by the Foot one one. Oh yeah, that was true. <laughs> that was on. I try and forget that one. This I have a bad relationship with this show because the rice balls still piss me off till today. Hey. I, I hand up. I was wrong about I rice was also balls. wrong. I've had a handful of rice balls since. You gotta, uh, what's you it called? Arancini? You enjoyed them, Dave? Yeah, they're good. Oh, they're fucking so, you they're so ju- good. You just had to use the fancy <laughs> name. Saying rice balls is what sank you. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah, Arancini. Arancini. I would have got, got that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, 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 I won Carnival. Yeah. Arancini, I would have pretended to know what it was. And they're like, ooh, that sounds fancy and delicious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Rice ball. I'm like, this fucking scumbag. And then what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got an so order of rice ball specifically because of that at like right after that draft, maybe within a week. And I don't even know if they were technically good rice balls, but they were still awesome. Yeah, they're a fantastic appetizer. It's awesome. That was my fifth pick. And yeah. I got banned. Also, it was for roll up, <laughs> not fruit of the foot. My apologies. Yeah. So well, if he had had. If, yeah, exactly. I think that he made that mistake. By yeah, accident. he did it yeah. on accident. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and he's all, you're already ruining my draft here, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Uh, Glenny, how we doing? Good, grumpy. <laughs> Why would I be grumpy? I don't know. Just checking. No, I'm good. It's beautiful. It's What's a great day. Happy Monday. Glenny balls have to be grumpy about. He lives Dude, the he's life. He's always grumpy. He's <laughs> a little grumpy sometimes. Well, he can be grumpy. <laughs> when grumpy. am I grumpy? I'll tell you when you're grumpy. When you've had a few too much to drink here and there, you get a little grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't. <laughs> no, I get happy. So, so do I. <laughs> Everybody gets grumpy around Dave, but he gets happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last time we even drank together, Dave? Na- Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. That was two years ago. That was in in Glenny time. That was just this past summer. That was like three months ago. <laughs> no, that was balls. June 2021. That was June 2023. I wasn't in. Oh, when we were there for the NHL draft. <laughs> yeah. That was a great night. What do you mean? We had a great time. We had a great yeah. time. Yeah. Fantastic time. Had us up in Kid yeah. Rock's Yeah, what was grumpy suite. about that? Hey, yeah. Glenny, did you know they're building a tin roof in Wrigleyville? I did not. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, I That's saw a good the area day. for it. Is Chiefs open yet? Eric Church's place? I don't believe so. Okay. No. I was there like three weeks ago, and it was very much still under construction. I was stunned to see that tin roof, Wrigleyville. When's, where in Wrigley? Like uh, across from like HVAC. Oh, okay. Nice. So That's like, a good spot, though. Wrigleyville's great. Yeah. Probably make a killing. That'll be good. Um, oh, they will there, yeah. Today's topic, as you saw by the title, is uh, TV comedy characters. So we've done TV comedies. We did that, I believe, with RA. And it was, um, you had to take one from each decade. And then we've also. He took Cosby, I'm pretty sure. I think I think he did. Yeah. I think he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure I mean, did. Well, Brandon yeah, still a... used it as his niche. So it's yeah. like, yeah. you know, guys, they're keeping the show alive. Mm. Um, so we're going to take the characters from Never forget. those shows. Uh, we have banned HBO. That's the only rule because yeah. we've already done an HBO characters draft. So. We don't want too much overlap. Sabotaging me yeah. right away. You know that's all I watch is HBO comedies. Well, I don't watch any of these very much, so I'm, I'm yeah. behind you. So Taking away right. the HBO catalog is it makes like, it much more daunting. difficult for sure. But yeah. it, it makes sense, though. We, we've, we've done, we, we've talked about Johnny Drama. We've talked and, about yeah. a Kenny lot Powers. of these people. Yes, yeah. we've talked about so yeah. many of them. That's where it's fair. like, we're going to give fair. some more people their due. Because exactly, there are plenty dude. of TV characters it's, it's, out there that deserve their due. Exactly. It's a good time to talk network television yes. with the fellas, you yes. know? Yes. Yeah. That's what, well, I mean, how old are you again, Marty? 29. Okay, so you're a little older, but Balls, you're only like 25, right? 27, just turned 27. We're all just, getting old, but yeah. um, they, I mean, we grew up on network comedies. These, these guys know? don't know about must-see TV. Ex- exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Thursday night, yeah. NBC, must-see yep. TV. Uh, and it was must see. Everybody, friends. like the whole family, circled around the TV and, and watched Ooh, it. Hey, I have a quick question before this begins. Mm. This just popped in my head. I don't have any written down, but this just popped in my head. Can we use recurring Saturday Night Live characters? I had the same question, actually, and I think that should be fair game. Uh, I don't I think, think so. I sketch think comedy and sitcoms are way different. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sketch show. Yeah. So, no. like, Jackass wouldn't be. Not no. a sitcom, bro. That's it's a, not sitcom. a sitcom. We're you talking said TV comedies. Yeah, oh, so it's only sitcoms. So sit- Pretty sitcom much, yeah. TV yeah. comedy, sitcoms. Yeah. Yeah. On my list, I had the situation on here. 
Oh, bro, that's no. A, that's a that's fucking reality, reality show. That's reality TV. He's still a funny TV Are guy. We, is this, you guys idiots? This is the most cut and dry sitcom. Eddie introduces as t funniest TV character. I, no, I'm on their sitcom. side for this one. TV he comedies. Is a, he is a character. He is a, you're right. I, I'm with sitcoms. you, but he has a point. Okay, so it's They're sitcoms. definitely okay. characters. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's why yeah. I asked. This that's is, why I asked. Listen, this was born out of respect for Matthew Perry. Okay, I'm just going to, can I ask on one that I have now? What if he goes undrafted, though? Matthew, he's probably, i never seen that show, so he's probably Gonna go under? Oh, maybe I don't know. Balls of big friends got. I, I have a question on a show. Can we get it out of the way now? Sure. Reno nine one one. I don't know I don't much know. about. Is, I isn't that a show? Is, it's it's a it's a it's sketch it, comedy, but there it's it's well, then complete there's your fiction. Fucking answer. It's complete fiction. They're all characters, it's, and it's not recurring though, right? Like they're in every episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. That, that's fine. Then. Yeah, it's yeah. totally fair. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, you said no sketch comedy. That's it's complete sketch comedy. Listen. Well, then ban it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a draft by five idiots, so this yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. What number is this? We've been doing nothing but drafts with five idiots, so. <laughs> yeah. TV comedy. People are used to it by now. TV sitcom character draft. All right. That's all we'll call. Also, shout out to Mackenzie. She's helping produce stepping in today. Our last show in the old office, we hope, we think. Hopefully. Pretty, pretty sure. I'm, yeah. I'm done driving up here when I, I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. So last one. Um. All right, we could uh, do the order. Uh, Mackenzie has a number one, one through five behind her back. Do you have it, Mackenzie? Yes. Marty, what number is it? Four. Is it four? Two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell us, Mackenzie. All right, start so, over. Start <laughs> over. I thought you were asking. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah. I like no, that no, no. game. Yeah, so, pick, 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 a new, pick a new number. Okay, That's kind okay. of a good podcast. We're the same. We'll just do it the whole Sorry. time. Yeah. No, it's okay. All right, all right. All right. One through five, Glenny Balls. Let me tell you, this is not a great draft I want a high pick in. I'm going to go with five. No, you gotta, you got to say You're the number, number. Balls. What, what number? There's no way you can... What? Don't, don't I pick a number, and then if I get it right, I get... Correct. Pick Correct. Pick yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say five. All right, is it five? No? Yes? What? That Mackenzie? was so stupid. And now should I say No, 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 no. no. Don't say it. Just, is he right or wrong? Just say if he's right or wrong. Oh, no. He's okay. wrong. Okay. All right, Chief, one through five. Hold on, hold on. You're using the same number now. Do you understand, Mackenzie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sorry, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, I got it. I got it. I got a little confused. You're good. <laughs> three? Is it, it three? Is it three? Yes. Oh. All right. So you get to pick one through. I will go third. That's. I think that's the best place to pick in this draft. All right. Now, Dave, Mackenzie has a number one through four behind her back. What number is it? One. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'll go five because I know Fuck. exactly I how I'm going to go. If I and I know all these leave. tasteless morons I'm on the panel with right now don't even watch my TV shows. So I'm good there. All right. Yeah, one through three to me. Uh, Mackenzie, I'm going to say one. No. Uh, Marty, one through three. <sighs> Two. No. Glenny. Fuck Thank God. Me. One three. Th <laughs> All right, I gotta go four here. He's easy four. Fuck me. All right, one easy or, four. One or two to me. Um, Come on, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, ever say one? No. All right, Mark. Yes. Two. I'll go second. Ed, oh. first overall pick. <laughs> All right, I actually first overall is brutal. Yeah, this for first overall, this is a brutal pick. I actually think it's pretty easy. I'm excited to see what you say. Well, maybe not pretty easy. There's a lot of really good shows, and you haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I haven't seen a ton. I'm. I'm in a tough situation. Mackenzie did it great. Don't let, don't let your father tell you different. <laughs> He's going to be very disappointed in the <laughs> end of that. Her dad's a big fan of the show. Is oh, he? Great. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, my, my oh, you're, he should roast you. Oh, he's going to be so At Thanksgiving dinner. No, he's, he's yeah. really going to be upset. He's really going to be upset. <laughs> she couldn't get the number right. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be like, you don't, you don't listen as much as I do. you got to listen. <laughs> it's all right. Jim, give her a pass. We appreciate her stepping in. Um, all right, before we get into it, though, I do want to talk about Muggsy jeans. Dave, please stand up and show the people your Muggsy jeans. Look at those things. Dave's Dave's butt never looks so good. It's right, true. Chief? Honestly, yeah. if, you, if, it's if, a tight ass. Can, if you can make White Sox Dave look fashionable, you have amazing jeans. That They take care of all the hard work. I just put them on. Yeah. 
They do. <laughs> and it's not just jeans people. It's chinos, it's shorts, it's joggers. Mm-hmm. Chief's a big chinos guy. I oh, just yeah. got a couple pairs sent to me. So I'm excited to oh, wear Oh, the chinos? Those. Yeah. Like, I'm like pretty much a sweatpants and jeans guy. Like, yeah. I don't really delve into the chinos. I'm going to try to get into it this year. There you go. So I'm excited. I'll help you out there, Ed. A little holiday Muggsy season. Muggsy got me into the you're, chinos, too. You're going to yeah. be looking I'll help good. you out. You're going to be looking good for Midnight Mass and your chinos? Yeah. Yeah. It's a maroon pair. Wait, you don't care? Oh, that's holiday as fuck. I know. Yeah. But I feel like I'm going to turn into a chestnuts guy like you. But I hope not. <laughs> no I, disrespect yeah, I built to Joey a fire. Chestnuts. I built a wooden <laughs> yeah, a wood fire last say, night. Whoa. Come after my teammate. All right. Uh, we do have a promo code here for you from Muggsy. Go to Muggsy.com. Get 10% off now using code Chicago. That's 10% off now. Some of the most premium jeans, chinos, and swimwear and shorts on the internet. Muggsy also offers free shipping and returns, so there's absolutely no risk giving them a try. If you're in Chicago, Boston, D.C., or Austin, Texas, make sure to head downtown and check out their storefront as well. Easy vibes every time. Enjoy a beer while you shop. All right. The uh, TV sitcom character draft. I'm up one one overall. Uh, Michael Scott. Oh, you're such yeah, a loser, basic dude. bitch. <laughs> Listen, what a loser. You're a loser. the best person in that show. You're gonna tell me he's not funny as fuck? Yeah, of course he is, but he's not the best person even in that show. Yes, he is. It's just you can't okay. say he's the best because then that's a basic answer. But it's really not thing. even an office guy. I really have no comment on Same. this. Same. I don't. Know. I don't think I he... watched it till Jim and Pam got together. Then I stopped. That's probably a pretty good time to stop. It was downhill a little bit after Wait, that. Wait, when? That's like the third season, no? Huh? Four? Four? Five? No, yeah. it's still good after that. Yeah, maybe until like six. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a basic bitch pick, and I feel like you just recently watched The Office, right? Yeah, people say it was good until he left, so that's an indictment on the show. Totally. He, eight, nine. He wasn't there for season eight, nine. Yeah, so. but it's like you could say that about... It's one of the best shows of all time. Don't fucking come at Michael Scott. This is ridiculous. I'm not coming at Michael Scott. Oh, everyone is. One, you. one. These one, guys one. are. It's, a, it's just like. He's a great character. Like, I, I respect you more of your mind and your mind. I was like, like, okay, let me be lazy in this draft and take the easiest one. Yeah, it's just not for me. Listen, it's not my fault that a bunch of girls decided to watch The Office on Netflix during uh, quarantine. You know what they <laughs> That's call a you. good point. But now, you, do you do you believe in this pick, or are you just saying it because you know the people love him too much? You know, that's you, a great did, question. Did, didn't you watch it during COVID for the first time? I think so. Yeah, but that's besides <laughs> the point. That's besides the point. I was I wasn't like live tweeting it or like I don't know Whoa, saying what? I'm Jim looking for my Pam. I <laughs> wasn't doing that shit. <laughs> what does that matter? That means I wasn't a basic bitch. I just watched the show. Oh, I enjoyed you know it. You know what you are? You might as well be called Pander and Ed. That's what yeah. you're Pander This is Ed. not a pander. Oh, Pander and Ed. <laughs> Michael Scott is, fu- is funny. He's funny as fuck. No, he's funny. Yeah, good pick. What's his best episode? I hate when he does that. Entourage. <laughs> what was his best episode? Prison One time Mike? he went in front of a Sbarro. I've seen that meme. Yeah. That was Prison, what, funny. It, yeah. Eddie's favorite one. Eddie's favorite one's Prison Mike. <laughs> McKenzie, do you like the uh, <laughs> <you> like, <laughs> <you> like office? <laughs> I do like the office, yeah. Oh, go. okay, good. Well, See? everybody likes the office. Would you like this pick? Um, oh. that, that stutter says it all. Mm. The paw says it all. No, I do like it. I feel like it is pandering a little bit. I uh, okay. Oh, fair. there it is. Listen, I, it is. I get, but a heavy hitter has to go first overall. Yeah, That's no, I it. respect it. Yeah, sure. so I don't know. I've already defended Michael Scott. Uh, hey, it's too a great much. pick, Eddie. I just, I just actually I just googled best. I just googled funniest TV characters. You know, what popped up as number one. <laughs> Michael Scott. So Dude, it's great. No, I mean, that, that answers Marty's question earlier. When the IT guy, he sees the IT guy coming into the office and he thinks it's a terrorist attack, it was fucking hysterical. Like, there's so many funny things. Kind of a problematic thing. Well, yeah, the office out. was problematic at that point. They say that. Yeah, it's season, one, season one was, like, super problematic. Yeah, I know. They yeah. say that all the time. Yeah. That's the material they gave me. I'm laughing at what they gave me. Uh, yeah, fuck no. you guys. Marty, you're up. <laughs> You're going to be so nervous the rest of your picks. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh he's Marty. On, so. He is yeah. the king of getting nervous. And here's the other thing. He doesn't have a deep board. By the time it gets back to him, he's going to be like, I have to nail this pick. There's yeah. Not, yeah. I got yeah. nine other picks that are better I, than And that's mine. why, like, listen, sometimes Chief has some bad drafts, but he believes in his picks. Yeah. You believe him. Conviction. Like, you don't sway away. Eddie sways away sometimes. I stand by my pick wholly, <laughs> just to be clear. Okay. Michael Scott right. is a one oh, yeah, character. Great one. In TV history, he's a very okay. funny guy. I think he could absolutely be argued. 
And I say that without having seen look, much of The Office. I, I'm in the trash, so fuck you guys. <laughs> like, well, I don't even know why I'm entertaining I mean, this. this is our People who are at- listening is going to be like, Eddie, you're an idiot. They're just haters. So they're just trying to get you on tilt. I'm not no, a idiot. It's a great pick. I got you said. I just Googled the funniest characters. He was number one. I actually fuck. hate to see that the last draft in this office and Eddie's getting run out of here. <laughs> It's tough. I, I, yeah. I don't I'm not. It. Michael Scott's great. You might as well remote start the Tesla right now. Just get it warmed up. Right Could you do that? You already make your pick. <laughs> All right, who do you got? Uh, you know what? I'm going to stay true to myself, and I'm going to go with Kramer right here. Ooh, I love okay. Kramer. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters of in sitcom television because we're not doing HBO, so I can't have my Larry characters. But I'm going Kramer. Every time he goes through that door, I laugh every single time. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I would say he might be the least funny of the four. I think he is. <laughs> yeah. No, I no think he way. is. Hey, they're, they're, you think Jerry's fu- funnier than Kramer? I mean, that's Abso- the interesting about Seinfeld. Do. Jerry's, Jerry's subtle humor all, is outstanding, and it it's a perfect yin and yang with Kramer's, like, obnoxious humor. It's awesome. I love it. I think George is, like, the easy, that's like Michael Scott to me. That's just like, yeah, of course. Oh, I this think is like Kramer you're thinking is, too hard now. Yeah, you're thinking way too I hard. I think Kramer is known as the funniest one. 100%. And I think oh, George if you is have, the There's no one. accounting for taste. And if you like zany, wacky, yeah. physical comedy, that's, you know, that's, that's your guy. Me. The yeah, truth yeah. is he's just not a very good that comedian. you must really love Michael Richards, yeah. 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 No, I, I, I'm a... couple uh, problematic yeah, yeah, picks back to back. He pulled a Mincy, right? Yeah. He sure did. Way worse than Mincy. Yeah, it was... He was pointing and screaming it at... Yeah, it was very... It was quite All right, Dave, make your pick. All right, number three. <laughs> no, I I do think Kramer is the worst of the four, though. I, I do. Too. So you don't. That's think- just idiotic. Like Elaine is like it's. Uh, Elaine is the funny. perfect woman. She's TV royalty. And Veep, maybe not, and not in Seinfeld. And how did she get to Veep? She was great in Veep. I think. And she's great in Seinfeld. She's incredible in Seinfeld. I think the fact that you think Jerry's well a funnier is that funny in that show is crazy. Kramer's all just he he's like the adult version of dick jokes. Just like shock humor and that's like literally your human moron. I, I'm not a fucking paid you comedian. If someone hits you in the dick, you laugh. Yeah, that's and actually true. It's yeah. not that you, true. I mean, I, I'm not the one guy until whoever threw up first. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm going George. I'm up I'm up now. I'm taking George Costanza. He is that's the pick. He wa- thank you, Dave. He was the funniest guy. I mean, especially Marty. You're such a Larry guy, Larry David guy. Like. That whole George Costanza written mm-hmm. based on Larry Don't David. Tell. So if you Don't. love Curb, but you shit on George Costanza, that's crazy. Um, no, I don't shit on him. Uh, but I, I think don't, that don't was. Don't you dare do that to me. Chief. Don't, don't you to mansplain Larry to me, because I don't. I'll. I like George, but you know, I have my Larry. Yeah, I, I think I think Costanza was the number one TV character of the '90s. I think he's the one who mm-hmm. like all. If you're gonna like. Like a pie chart of the funniest moments, Costanza is involved in the majority of them. Uh, so I love George Costanza and uh, thrilled to get him at three. I thought he was going to go one one, but thank God Ed was picking one one. Sorry, I wasn't disingenuous. I've never seen Seinfeld, so yeah. Would you rather be disingenuous or not? Well, you've done that. I'm surprised you didn't watch one episode this morning. And be like, oh, I saw it, it was funny, kind of like what you do it's with all Miracle Draft. Miracle was a one movie shot. Yeah. So yes, yes, Marty. I hope that that was still wild that you pulled that move. What'd you say? I overthought it. <laughs> <laughs> George is the answer, and and George is, I, so, George is my favorite character, and then I, I it's just, it's just I got cute, and I made fun of Eddie too much, and I got nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I overthought it. All right, George is getting was, upset. Uh, this, George is getting upset. <laughs> that level of honesty almost makes me want to just give you George, and I'll pick again. <laughs> no. Yeah, I really want George. So what you're talking about? Him, so many things. Yeah, I mean, also, also Marty is the biggest Larry David guy I know, and George is Larry David. That's why I was trying to go away from it because everyone. Thought I'd pick him and I'm fucked up. Okay. That, that, yeah, don't let that fruit roll up rice ball guy get that pick. <laughs> hey, I like Marty. <laughs> I love me and Chief have great relationship. Yeah. So, all right. So, Costanza sounds like a good pick. Yeah. I mean, I don't, like I said, I haven't yeah. seen the show, but he's, he's the best. He, he makes me yeah. laugh just like the, the, gift, oh, the yeah. gifts of him. Yeah, he's hilarious. With the recliner and yeah. just like everything looks funny. It's kind of, no, never mind. 
I don't know what you were going to say, <laughs> but it sounded like you were going to say something about someone in this there's room. Some, there's some WSD Costanza overlap. I base a ton of my <laughs> like outlook on life and world views on George Costanza's right. character, so I, of was, course there's overlap. Wasn't there a moment where you ate, oh, it was the Brandon Walker bacon where you pulled it out of the trash. Like that's. <laughs> oh, that's, no, that was yeah. very intentional, though. That, <laughs> okay. was, that was very intentional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I could see White Sox Dave quitting Barstool and then showing back up on Monday and no one says a word. Like I could see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Ballsy, you're up. Okay, so I have a very clear top two that I want. I'm being strategic here because Dave is going back to back next for me, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm a recent watcher of this show too, and I know Dave is a recent watcher of this show too. I remember his tweets. Um, I'm going to take Frank Reynolds at four. Frank's great. Frank's. I recently fucking watched hilarious. Always Sunny for the first time, and I think he's balls. What took us so long? He's what took us so long? I mean, he's un- unbelievably funny. He's just unbelievably funny. I'd he honestly, has- I've only gotten. I haven't watched every season. I'm at through like twenty ish or something. Um, so I have the last few seasons, but it's. I would it's say just, maybe the best sitcom I've ever watched, and I don't say that like, lightly. It's fucking and I'm not, perfect. And I'm not like a huge. I never grew up like a massive, massive Danny DeVito fan. But he is just perfect. He's he, he, the, the, he some of the moments Frank Reynolds has are unfathomably funny. He's unbelievable. He really is. I don't know if he's my favorite character on that show, and I love the show. But there's no denying that he came in season two, and the show took it, off. It, like exponential he's, growth. He's kind of yes. like the, st- the straw that stirs the mm-hmm. drink, and there's there's nothing that's like out of bounds or for him. Like, like that character. He literally just, walked out of a couch naked. <laughs> Yeah, he literally so, walked out of a couch naked. It, that it, cute little Danny DeVito walked out of a couch naked. It's 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 a great it's a great pick. I love the pick. I, 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 like, I almost feel like kind of a fraud because I just watched it for the first time within the last year. Sure? But he's amazing. The poop in the bed was fantastic. It's, yeah. Oh, <laughs> insane. Yeah, that is. He he's a perfect television character. I love him. Um, yeah. I was reading when I was doing the watch um, that their ratings after the first season were so low, and all the guys in the, like all the. They're, all the writers and everything are like, fuck, they're going to cancel this. They're going to cancel this. So they had their end of year review or whatever, and they're like, no, we love what you guys are doing. Your guys' ratings completely blow, but we're not going to cut you guys. In fact, we're going to add an A-lister to the cast. Here's Frank Reynolds, Danny DeVito, and it took off after that. Yeah, that is the story. Yeah. It's a great story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. David. Uh, <laughs> Dave, you're up. Uh, I just said that a lot of my worldview and outlook on life is based off of George Costanza's character. I can say the same for this character. I'm going with Eric Cartman, one of the all-time. I would have taken him first overall in this draft if I had the first pick for the record. I think the greatest character in TV history. And I know none of none of, none of you guys watch South Park, so it's it's so very unfortunate. I do move. remember watching him yeah. when I was in like grade school and loving it and thinking he was hilarious. So I, his I character it. evolution, because they're on like season twenty something now too, is absurdly funny through the early seasons and now. He he satirizes every bad part of the world so perfectly in a little fat fourth grader's body. It's it's he's an, a perfect television character. I wish you guys knew how good he was. I mean, we all know who Cartman is. Yeah, it's not, we just don't yeah. know the evolution because right. a lot of us stopped watching him when we yeah. were younger. So you probably could yeah, have gotten him with you Mr. Grow Rowell, up from the cartoons sometimes. Yeah, when, once I had puberty, I stopped watching it, but it was pretty cool. Before. I mean, you guys are saying that like it's SpongeBob. No, I'm not. I know it's. No, I'm honestly kidding. That's just when I stopped watching it. Yeah, Cartman was on my board. Yeah. How I, much I, South I, Park have you consumed? Not a ton. Well, you get a lot of episode recaps on this show. Yes. Day. Yeah. Can you give me uh, a recap of Cartman's best episode? Um, uh, the episode where he became Cartman. Okay. So he wanted to show off to his friends, and he wanted to be the first kid in the in the fourth grade to grow pubes. Okay. So he thought you just you just buy pubes, and that's how you get pubes for the first time. So he buys this teenager's pubes off of him. He just shaves them. And all the kids are like, no, you fucking idiot. You actually grow them yourself. You don't have pubes. You just bought some kid's ball hair for 10 bucks, you idiot. So in order to get back at the kid, he kills the kid's parents, starts a chili cook-off festival, puts the kid's body parts in the chili, and feeds them to the kid that sold him the pubes. Huh. It was very, very... What's the name of this episode? Um, it's dark. Cartman grows pubes, uh, buys pubes? It's Cartman... Fuck. What was the kid's name? I don't know. I'm blanking on the kid's name. Uh, Scott Tennerman Must Die. That's the name of the episode. All right. Good. And a lot of people say it's the best South Park ever. Season five. Season five. Good recap. I think it's season five. Yeah. Um, all right, Dave, you're up again. Uh, I'm going to go with another one that I think could have been a first overall pick. 
kind of for similar reasons that Ed took them, but formed a lot of my childhood. Um, I'm going with Homer Simpson. Back to back cartoons. Animated. That makes so much sense. <laughs> I was a huge Simpsons guy. I, I mean, lo- it's Homer I love Simpson. Homer, Homer is high on my board. I really never. It just never. I'm not a guy. Cartoons don't yeah. do it for me. That, that was kid. It was when I was probably ages 9, 10 to 17. It was come home from school and practice, and it was always on at like 5.30 and yep. 6. Mm-hmm. And you watch an hour as you're like, I don't know, kind of resting up from the day before you have to do your homework and have a little yep. dinner. And and I watched I watched The Simpsons every day. And now it's on Disney+. Plus. Maybe once a quarter I'll spend a Saturday or Sunday morning, and I'll just flip it on and have it on as background noise. It still hits. It's it's yep. Simpsons is an all timer. It just it's the only reason I got Disney Plus was to watch the Simpsons. Yeah, see, it did fall off. Like I don't think yeah, there's been a good it, episode, right. a good new episode probably since two thousand four. But right, the uh, '90s Simpsons though, it's yeah. pinnacle elite. elite. Any elite. concern though with you taking animation back to back? Probably no, a little bit. no, none. Uh, Glenn, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that was not one of the ones you wanted. No, no, no. I'm very excited about my top two pictures and my top two characters of all time, so I'm excited about it. All right. Who, who's your next pick? Uh, my second pick is I'm going to stick to Elderly Franks, and I'm going to go Frank Costanza. Great, oh, great, great pick. pick. Rest in I peace. Think Jer- yeah. I think Jerry oh. Stiller is he, like a god. He's so fucking funny. He's so fucking funny. And that's another show, too. Like I'm very bad with, for some reason, Larry David Productions. I only watch the later seasons. Like, I love Seinfeld. They, I only started watching four and on. I think he came in in five. And Curb, I haven't watched the early Curbs since. I still haven't watched the early since. But once he pops in in Seinfeld, it just takes Seinfeld to another level. It he's, does. It, it, he's perfect. He, he's he's one, perfect. If we're doing, like, the analytics, every single time he's on yes, camera yes, yes. is, no, is yeah. hilarious. And it's, yeah. not, and it's not like it's not – he's not overly in it. He's no. in maybe, I don't know, 30 episodes on the top that, of that. If that. But yeah. it's, like, 30 and home runs. Is yes, unbelievable. Yeah. When he – I mean, when they think George is dead – and Steinbrenner goes to his How house and he's complaining why he trade Jane Buner. Why, why Buner. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. He's got a rocket oven arm. You don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> it's, he's the best. Yeah, when, they, when him and Estelle go away and they come home and they find the condom and he just walks in and he says, is, is this, this a, a prophylactic rocket? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Frank Estelle. I'm obsessed with Frank Estelle. Don't box go? Yeah. When they yeah. do Frank the flashback uh, to him in, in, North, in North Korea, Korea. Yeah. and he's the cook and he's sitting there yeah. smoking his <laughs> It's he, like Ryan He's said it perfectly. It's just a hundred percent hit rate with Frank Costanza. He like the man's ear. The the bro <laughs> the bro. <laughs> the oh, the side the characters best. are what made that show to yeah. me. Yeah, because they're all great. They really are. It's it's. A, I mean, it's a perfect sitcom. Yeah. No, it is. It is, and that's he is like the perfect bit side character. Jerry yeah. Ron, or uh, Jerry, <sighs> Freudian slip. Jerry Seinfeld in like maybe two weeks ago was doing stand-up somewhere and did tease a reunion season like but, but it was like more than a tease he's like <sighs> well uh julia louis drive said she, no one had talked to her about it so i think that he might have did been, he did she come out and say that she did say that so he may have been teasing but uh, and I they think already they did, did that on curb i think it was like yeah, see, the curb episodes of it's amazing yeah too. it was great you just get everybody in it did they bring michael richards in now yeah he, yeah he was there yeah he had the good was he, he the good was he canceled options. yet or no? Yeah, he was. They, they yeah. kind of like wove that they, into the storyline. Uh, which there you go. Yeah. There's your there's your episode. Yeah. Yep. All right, Frank stands off. Perfect board. pick. Perfect pick. Uh, money. Chief, back to you. I think I'm gonna about to just win this draft. I'm taking Dwight. Dwight's the funniest character yeah, on the office. Not crazy. even close, dude. Yes, Fuck he you. is. Yes, you. You're on tilt. No, I'm all not, the characters I'm you not. got, nothing you left. Just because your you board is sparse. True. Your board is sparse. You went chalk and basic bitches. Dude, fuck Dwight one got, overall. Dwight's Dw- bits got so lame. Michael was so ignorant, <laughs> and it was hilarious. Michael's a great character too. Dwight's fucking hilarious, and like the whole Jim Dwight relationship, the Dwight and Angela oh, relationship. Dwight and Michael, how he's just like this like little kiss ass guy. It's almost like Tommy and uh, Portnoy, kinda in a way, in a way <laughs> but like, but in a in a genuine way. It was, it's he's so he's so funny all throughout. Dwight Schrute, second round is incredible. He's an easy first round pick. Get him in the second round is great. Uh, so I'm thrilled to have Dwight. It's uh, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> No, Dwight's good, but for you guys to shit on Michael and say... I'm not shitting on Michael, I'm shitting on you. We all know he's funny. Yeah. It was chalk. 
You, but you don't think Dwight's funnier than Michael Marty? Please don't tell me it's, that. Uh, he, Dwight actually might be the main character of that show. That fucking moon face. He's one of those guys. I who, don't. Li he annoys me more. Yeah, but, but intentionally so. And he's good. Yeah. 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 It, he is just like he's another one of those guys where it's like you look at him and he's just fucking funny looking and his stupid mustard like short sleeve dress shirt. It's like he's just a fucking funny. He's a funny character. The name Dwight Schrute's the perfect name yeah. for an office ass kiss too. Yeah. And I didn't even watch the show and I know that. And that was kind of like the no like uh, Dwight's like an amalgamation of like every terrible like nerdy office guy. Yeah. But I don't. Well, you yeah you did. But like working in an office, you just like have like moments where like that's a fucking Dwight moment. This fucking nerd is being like so he just like you see him in real life kind of in the in the work environment and he's he's perfect. He's a perfect character. All right. Marty. Did you guys get into the uh, British one? Uh, there's only two seasons. I watched oh. it, yeah. Martin. Can I I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is a reach and I've recently been watching all of them again and We've already talked about this. His actor, we've, this actor has already been taken on this draft, and I enjoy him so much that I would be, it'd be wrong. I'd be, a, I'd be an Ed if I picked another character right now, and I'm going with Arthur from King of Queens. Yeah, he's gonna be the same character. He's the same character as Frank Costanza, and Arthur is unbelievably funny. If you ever want to go back and watch, he is the main character of that show, and it's one of the best. And I know it's a reach. But I find him so funny that I'm taking him second. Yeah, I just started King of Queens for the first time. I inspired your rewatch. I know. Because I just started like a month ago. And he's amazing. And literally there's nothing else to say other than that. They, I think they probably called him and said, we want you to come do a sitcom and literally just play Frank Costanza. Yeah. Because he is Frank Costanza. Arthur Spooner. Unbelievable. And what? I don't care what you have to say. That's true to my heart. That doesn't sound fair. Why? They just rehashed the same character? Yeah, it's watered a, down a different, version. Different, different it's a network, different, show. different TV show. Yeah. I commend Marty for going with his heart and admitting it Thank was you. a reach. Uh, yeah. I'm. I got a little bit of an internet dust up when I was admitted <laughs> that I'm not a big King of Queens guy. I felt like everybody was coming at me for that. Just didn't really do it for me. But hey, Marty, proud of you for going with your heart. Yeah, that's Thank also, you. That's it, also, it was hard because I have one. My next one is like. I'm not even a big fan of the next one, but I do think he's funny. That's and also like saying you can't think multiple of Danny McBride's characters are funny. He's always playing the same guy. Basically. Yeah, that's true. They're all fucking hilarious. Same thing with Denzel Washington. He's kind of just the same guy. And in Will every Ferrell movie. mostly. Denzel Washington. <clears throat> yeah, he's kind of just him in, in, in all man. all his roles. That's insane. What? <laughs> Denzel? That's a, one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. He's <laughs> the same guy in every movie. No, he's. No, not. I think he's just Denzel Washington in every movie. <laughs> that's not. exactly what I just said, balls. In Training Day and and uh, remember the Titans. What's the uh, remember the Titans? The same thing. It's the plots obviously different, but the way he approaches his role in each movie is the same. I, I can't this do this again is right the now. The craziest yeah, I'm not thing doing this right I've now. ever heard. <laughs> there's no way in your heart you believe. Oh, that. I oh, do, Marty. and there's millions of people out there. But that he's also like an actor, just playing normal guys. This is a this is a five year old longer. Yeah, let's. Do you let's, think Will Ferrell plays the same thing every time? He does much, yeah. Is this Does that I, one? I. I, I he you, hates Will Ferrell and he hates Denzel I, Washington. I don't Can hate I either. either. Do this? Do you, like, I, is it because when you see Denzel in something, you have a hard time picturing his? Dude, there's there literally else? a montage of him doing that. All right, all right, like that voice in all his movies. He does the same shit in every movie. It's like he has no range. <laughs> his range is poor. Hmm. <laughs> Denzel's range is poor. All right. I won't keep going because you obviously are set on this. Oh, yeah. I am. <laughs> Pretty sure he just did like Macbeth. Yeah. But. If, uh, Cap if Captain Cons is out there, please reply on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like Denzel Washington. He texted me the other night. I forgot to reply. I he didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't text Denzel him back Washington. when he said happy birthday to me. And in fact, <laughs> I didn't get a happy birthday from either of you guys. No. I mean, just when was your generous. birthday? Three Halloween. days ago. Wait one sec. Let me check the thirtieth. Did you tweet or did you tweet anything about it? Absolutely not. So how would he, I know? Oh, I mean, he's been Marty. He's been talking about it every day for like five months. <laughs> Just letting people. My know. birthday True. was August eleventh, and my last two texts from you were April third and September twentieth. Yeah, Ooh. you've never texted me on my <laughs> birthday. I don't. I don't reciprocate. I reciprocate actually. Yes. If you don't do it to me, I don't do it to when you. When is your I birthday? I do it to Eddie every time. April eighteenth. I'll remember. Yeah, okay. Right. I, if you remember, I will text you for your birthday. Deal. 
I texted Eddie for his birthday. Yeah, you did. Is that a ball? I texted you for your birthday, I think. Yeah, you both did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where I stand. How old are you, Dave? How old do you think I am? 26. 34. 35. Oh, pretty good. Oh. You run for president. I appreciate Congrats. that. Yeah, you don't yeah, look I, 35. I'll get, I, you're a little, you look younger with the hat on. As a guy who wears a hat, I, I look younger as well. I was going to rip on you for a second there. I remembered you were also a hat guy and we're brothers yeah. in arms. Yeah, we, we cannot go out. That's the only thing we have in common is our <laughs> male pattern baldness, and we need to keep together on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I'm Solidarity. Up. Yes. Uh, after a strong one one, I'm I'm just gonna go into like TV. <laughs> strong I- one one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into like TV icons and like the, the history of TV sitcoms. Like you're like you guys have a lot of recent ones. Like obviously, Seinfeld first season was '89. I said that. Yeah, yeah. I said that so earlier. I'm like, there's gonna be guys we don't draft because we just. So old. I'm going icons, and I think you can't write the history of TV sitcom characters. Are you about to do George Jefferson? <laughs> no, no. I'm taking Steve Urkel. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Don't come at me with Steve Urkel and say something's wrong with Steve Urkel. Nothing's wrong with Steve Urkel. I just don't really. I didn't. It was. Do I remember it, do watching it, do it. Do his catchphrase. Did I do that? Yeah. Did I do that? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hilarious. He was, he, hilarious. Oh, <laughs> dude, this guy's gonna say that Steve Urkel didn't have a fucking day. They made action figures of this guy. Lunch boxes, even. Yeah, they had everything. Yeah. He was supposed to be a bit role and he was so popular in the first season that they kept him around yeah. like for a bigger role pander and ed yeah. yeah are you like an urkel fan yeah he's taking the <laughs> what's wrong with urkel this he loves like, he loves a good catchphrase is, i'm not gonna make fun of urkel because i'm trying to golf with him at the moment but this is crazy what do you mean you're trying to golf with? you're Steve trying urkel? to golf with stefan the cool version yeah he is yeah. cool now he he just Posted scumbag golf the other day, so I've been texting him in DMs. But <laughs> this is crazy. Really? I would like to be in on scumbag golf. I also would like to be in on that. We'll talk offline. I would love, and I would love to. I hey, would also like to be in on scumbag golf. I'll All right, there, it, there's I'll our foursome. Eddie can fuck off somewhere. Yeah, that's not. Fun. I'm in next week. Me and Mike Francesa play. But anyway, <gasps> no way. Yeah, he's a stud. That's he's awesome. So I bet he is good. Um, but like, do you like truly like? Do you feel good about that pick? Like you like. Listen, when you talk about him. TV icons, Steve Urkel. Is that the draft? It's no. TV sitcom characters. It's it's who you like. I could you could interpret it either way. It's people you like. It's people you think is like revolutionary for. Well, go ahead. Take I Love Lucy next. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to take I Love okay. Lucy. Okay. All right. We'll talk about TV icons. All right. That's I fine. I didn't plan I want, on coming at you, Ed. I didn't plan on coming here and coming at you on the show. I want to mix on my board. I like people I like, like Michael Scott, who are also very good, and then people who are icons, <laughs> like Steve Urkel. Is he really icon? Yes, dude. Come on. Like, I mean, know, I haven't heard the name Steve Urkel in fucking a decade. That's not true. Urkel is like a euphemism for making fun of people who are nerds. What's up, Urkel? Like, that's he became. Like, that's That was a good point. Yes, that was, he, it's that true. That was a good joke in 94. Yeah. It still hits. It's still there. <laughs> don't say that right. people aren't. I, being I think Urkel. it's getting to the point where people won't even know what you're talking about, though. Mackenzie, how old are you? <laughs> no, I know. I know who Steve. Okay. okay. See, uh, but I bet I'm, there's people in our like 20ish and younger that are gonna start to not know who that is. Well, I'm gonna change that. There's no way Nikki Smokes knows who Urkel is. <laughs> well, well, he, he doesn't, he, know, he doesn't know anything. Know much. Yeah, yeah, he, he doesn't know anything. anything. He didn't know who Scarlett Johansson was. He didn't know who John Mayer yeah. was. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Never mind. That. All right. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Our reactions too. I think that's a pretty fucking awful pick, Ed. All right. Well, let's see how he rebounds. <laughs> yeah. He's, I don't I'm care. I'm so excited for the rest of your draft. I think he almost took something so bad so that Michael Scott would look <laughs> I, better. I, I swear to God that same no. thought was going through no. my head. I you swear got, to God it was. Gr- there's a group chat with you four. Like, this is collusion. You guys <laughs> planned this. No, we didn't. You, know, you just you drafted know planned, Steve Urkel. There's nothing wrong with Urkel. I planned on going White Sox Dave today, and you're making it hard. Listen, I'm not a big TV guy, all right? I like a movies. I watch the big screen, not the small screen. Sorry. <laughs> All right. What's your next pick? Fuck. Michelle Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with her? Oh. He's really nervous. Is. Do we got we I want to put like a heat lamp on him. <laughs> <laughs> and a shot clock. I'd love a shot clock next to him right now. Do Fuck it. Fuck, I'm going to take the ones I like. 
I'm that's just, the yeah, whole yeah, point. That's what, that's, thank, welcome to the draft. I yeah, like her. only took you like 200 fucking drafts. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking Arnold Jackson. <laughs> You know who that is? No. Hey, Arnold? No. No, it's what Gary Coleman. Ah, oh, come on. I like I like different strokes. Okay, I could it took okay. me a minute to even remember what TV show it was. I, I see I like I don't even know who the fuck that is, but I'm glad you went with your heart, not mm -hmm. with like Jerry Seinfeld. I next. think he's reading off a what do you Buzz how am I list? reading off a BuzzFeed? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's exactly the opposite. You're, you're going to vote me off because you don't like it, but the people will know. Like I'm actually digging through the archives and trying to put some good grease work on it. I'm starting to think you're pandering to Mackenzie's dad. Really? Yeah, I got it. Eddie, I gotta that's like you. That. You like that's your humor completely. Yeah. I know. I got to get on it. Yeah. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, they got two. Got yeah. a couple of great punchlines here. Yeah, that's that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's wrong with I didn't that? even. What the fuck is God. wrong with Gary had... Coleman? Come on. What's his last what name? What you talking about, Willie? Gary Coleman. Yeah, he just died recently. I think. All right, peace. But jeez, you guys are fucking idiots. Died in 2010. Not too recent. All right, Mark. Oh, he's up. from here. You know that. No, I didn't know that actually. Well, Zion. I'm, I'll be. I'm nervous about my next one because I don't have it completely in my head right now. Yeah, the six I didn't come from you. Who do we got? And because I really do only watch King of Queens, Entourage, and Curb, and that takes away a lot of my picks. And I want to go into another Seinfeld, but I already did a Seinfeld, basically two Seinfeld guys. So I'm thinking. I, I want you to pick. Say A or B. 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 B? B. Uncle Phil. That's a good pick. I like Uncle Phil. I, lo I looked at Uncle Phil there, and there, if I take Uncle Phil, you guys don't receive it the same way as you no, just Uncle did. Uncle Phil's I think great. we would have received it just like we did with Marty. Disagree. Yeah, Uncle I, Phil's a great, like, it's just such a good character when you're watching that show. I would say, <clears> if we're, <throat> but we're, or if we're focusing on the comedy aspect of this, he's not True. Like, the funniest character. Well, yeah. it's not, this is not the fun. This is not the funniest. No, it's no, it's not. funniest. Not this funniest. is best sitcom character. Yes, exactly. Oh, I thought it was funniest. No, it's comedy comedy characters, but we're gonna take guys that aren't funny. Well, sitcom it is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think Uncle Phil's a good. I pick. think Uncle Phil's a solid pick. I think that's a fair, great. I think hey, it's a great third round. Marty, pick. how do you think? How do you feel about Eddie's reaction? Being, it's he thinks it's a great pick after taking Urkel. That's an and, awesome question. Yeah. I didn't love, I didn't love it, but the fact that he, like, he's so rattled in his cage right now, dude. He has no idea what to do next. He's, he wants his draft to end so bad. I, I think he's trying to butter you up, so when the yeah. picks come back around, you'll hype up whoever he has uh, next. Lucy he's a conniving motherfucker, that yeah. Eddie. Ed, I want you to dig deep for the next pick. I, no, I'm just gonna take my guys. Now. Deeper than I'm gonna take my roster. We I'm want gonna, I, we want you to take your guys. That's yeah. what we want. And I'm the one who's bad at drafting. You're uh, fucking terrible. Come on, because <laughs> TV's a blind spot for me. Um, hold on, really quick here. Let's talk about game time. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Uh, I think everyone on this panel has taken advantage of game time before. I love amazing. Game time. Yes, it's great. What, what have you uh, indulged balls? Where have you gone on game time's dime? On game time, been a few Billy Joel's. Obviously, amazing concerts. Always great tickets from game time. I think I'm actually going to the Rangers Hurricanes game tonight uh, with our friends at game time. Mm -hmm. wow. Great nice. seats. Yeah, coming off a five and zero road trip. Big game at home against the Hurricanes. Very excited. Shout out game time. And you're going to go to a Hawks game soon? I've been to one. Yeah. I went to opening night. Um, I might. I was supposed to go with Frank, or I invited myself to Frank. Frank basically <laughs> said no. So I'm going to use game time tickets to get into that same game, and maybe I'll you know bump into him. That clip was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. You have to ask to get in his crew? Uh, you know, I'm just going to go on my own. I, it was clear, it's, it's, it's clear that I wasn't welcoming the crew. Frank the Tank crew. And he'll be, say hello to you like, like a fan. You have no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't know who you are. Yeah, I yeah. know. I'm going to the Champions Classic, too, at the United Center on November 14th. What? So. Yeah, I'm excited oh, for Oh, actually, me. speaking of, I went with you. I, Eddie, I went with you. Rangers Game 7, one of the best moments of my life. Yeah, yeah. I was and there, And Chief, too. you were there, too, right? Yep. Me, was, us oh, and Tom, and we had a great Tom. time. Yeah. Game 7 against Penguins. That was, was a, very that much was shout-out game. That was 
balls, Matt, was, you were, balls was buckled, dude. You, my, you, I, my shirt was off. Yeah, he yeah. ripped off his shirt when they well, were I had shirt with tarps off. Did the two different if, nipples make an appearance? Shut up, Dave. If, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Also, game, time, game time really does, like, put, he, they put me at the final four. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, do, they, do, they do a great job. Time, and it's like, I, I use it just going at, like, Oh, so the weather's nice. I'm going to Wrigley. Like, it is so easy to use. Like, the best way to get great last-minute seats. So, uh, highly, highly recommend Game yeah. Time. Yeah, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. I kind of just want to do the Game Time ad forever. So, I... I would love to just talk, just talk about, about good times we had with game time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I could just stop getting shit on in this draft. So. Yeah, we're going to just pivot. Like, what were the best games you went to thanks to game yeah, time? Yeah, that would be that, great. That Rangers game seven is up there. That was a blast. Even as a neutral. A yeah. Oh, and awesome. we did we did bet – Tom and I bet Panarin to have the game winner. That oh, hit. did you? I didn't even know that. Yeah. And it was freaking over, overtime game overtime seven, too. Game that was insane. It was. I'd argue as a game seven going as a neutral fan is, my, is better than – yeah, going as a I would agree. Because you're more nervous. And like, that shit, I, that was the first time I ever had a playoff overtime game seven. It's nervous. So no, I, it I did suck. it in 2013, Blackhawks, Red Wings, and the Blackhawks won, and it was. Yeah. It is better, but, like, the downside is. It it's is. legit. It's better like, for after the game. Yeah. During the game, you're chill. Oh, like, yeah, like playoff, ho- playoff hockey, like, elimination playoff hockey is, like, to the point where it's actually not even fun to watch. It's literally it's, not fun to watch. Yeah, it's yeah. I disagreed with that. Those like two a.m. Blackhawks oh, yeah. games were but, the like, fucking. But like you also don't. Really no, I know, care. I, I know. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. But I did then though. This is nah. nice. Maybe we just call this draft and talk some, <laughs> yeah. talk some game time. You really are. Yeah. You look at you. You're, yeah. you're, you don't even know what to do with yourself. This is nice. Yeah, See, he's filibustering. He is. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm going with Charlie Kelly from Always. Summer. Ah, god damn it. Nice. That's Char- who my first one was, by the way. That was my A, if you guys picked A. Okay. So I'm okay with that. Every pick is from the same two shows. I have That's three picks from three different shows. All right. I just got to watch these two shows, and I'd murder <laughs> this draft, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you would. I Those have... are all two big shows to not watch, Ed. I mean, he he's a great character, and he, you know. All right. Tom. He is, I would say, an elevated version of Kramer. Like Kramer's like like they're both zany, but I think Charlie Kelly like yeah. he, his character just makes me laugh more. He's like an outrageous person. It's like how do you even think of the stuff to write for him? He's he's great. Like that whole cast is great. They work great together. But he's kind of the he's like the butt of a lot of the jokes. I, and I love great. him. He's he's, he's my favorite. Obviously, Frank probably carries the show, but Charlie's my favorite character. Yeah. His whole relationship with the waitress is like always trying to connive and his whole relationship with Frank, where they sleep in the same pull up together. It's so <laughs> funny. That's, that's his wife, right? It's yeah, real life. Yeah, so his real life wife. Really and, and D is Max. Real life. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. married. Yeah. yeah. So and right. uh, Glenn Howerton is actually he also married the he the married pharmacist. a girl. He married the pharmacist. That's yeah. one of my favorite. The, the, oh, that's a oh great, my god! That's what's the, it called? That's the dentist system. The dentist system. Yes, yeah. he married the pharmacist from the dentist system. Yeah, yeah, it is. I can't the watch that show fall great. asleep though. Their their uh, the theme song wakes me up. Yeah, that's a good point. But now I, uh, as someone who hasn't seen the show, I had always assumed this guy was the best character in the show. Is Frank that much better than him? No, I, I think they're all like. They're all pretty equal, except for that bird yeah. D. Like everyone else is. Everyone if he else said any why other characters, why I'd be like, I think D pick. plays the perfect like boneheaded sister. She she's great. Too, she's great. But I would say there are she's great. You she's like, great. If, someone, if if you draft her later, I will defend that pick. I would have. I mean, yeah, later for sure. But, but I, th- I think she's five out of fifth out of five for me. She's. I would say she's insanely necessary. Yeah. Yeah. She's, That's how I would describe her. Yeah. All right, Glenn. All right, I mean, I got him in the third round. That would be remiss, RIP, to not take Matthew Perry, Chandler Bing, here in the third round. Very excited about that. I think Chandler's phenomenal. Both him and Joey are very equal in funniness to me. That was. I, I would almost you know maybe what? be more of a Joey guy, but in honor of when we're recording this, I got to take Chandler Bing, Matthew That's, Perry. Um, I respect it, but that was not. that's not his favorite character, which I'm a little upset by his pick right there. Mm. Oh, well, he's I doing a Joey nice Chandler, thing. Joey and Chandler are both my favorite it characters. It was very nice that you And what am I not going to take it? What am I, I'm not going to sit here and take Joey over Chandler That's why I'm in these circumstances. That's why I'm not going to get too upset. I'm not going to get too upset. And, and even, even though Joey is probably my favorite character, it's like a 51-49 scenario. Okay. 
It won't get up too upset because it, it is respect. Yeah, it's a, this, is, this is a hat tip respect pick. This is living in the moment a little bit. Little pander, but it's fine. I, I, I'm not... I, you're, have you seen Friends? Has anyone seen Friends? I've seen. Yeah. Uh, I it I've all. seen a few episodes, but I can't say that I. Um, well and I would. Al I would also say in the Friends community, Chandler is known as the funny character. He is. He is the. It's him and Joey. Are the yeah, yeah, Joey and Chandler are the funniest characters, but Chandler is known as the funny guy on Friends. That's a fact. And he also just plays the character. I mean, actor Matthew Perry just passed away. Out of respect, I am taking Matthew Perry. It's a class act. Yeah. And I want to say, didn't they have something where they all decided early on, like, we are negotiating together. We're all equally so, important to the show. So something. what happened that it came out, it was really mostly uh, David Schumer. I, I mean, I, everyone's always known that, but in Matthew Perry's autobiography, I saw a meme about it the other day, not a meme, but it was the thing he wrote quickly about everyone, is after season, I believe, one or two, David Schwimmer was, like, top dog. Everyone loved Ross. Everyone was obsessed with Ross. And he just said, we're all going to go in and negotiate together. Because, obviously, after the first season or two, him and Rachel were the most famous so mm -hmm. they could have gone in and asked for more money than the rest of them. And he was like, no, we're all doing it as a unit of six. So they always got paid the same money. And by season nine, ten, they were making a million dollars an episode, each of them. So He was the worst one. Not a bad gig. Yeah. He's nope, the worst not one? Not a bad gig at all. Ross is the worst character. I, I love Ross. I think <clears> they're all great. I'm, I'm on Friends, Stan. I love Friends, so I'm not going to say any bad Friends stuff. I, but love, I watch Friends every night. Yeah, but to get Chandler in the third round, I think that's a win. I'm excited about it. Good. Uh, White Sox, Dave. A lot of people are going to ask if I'm about to go triple cartoon character. <laughs> I know who you're picking right now. I wish I could just put it in your mouth. Whisper to Glenny so we can prove if you know who I'm going to pick. Got it, Glenny? Uh, yeah. All right. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> I'm going with Glenn Quagmire. Oh, oh, close. That was close. Is he in Family Guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. Funniest character on the show. Complete and total pervert, but he's also insanely <laughs> smart. Um, Mackenzie, I got to laugh. You're a Family Guy fan, I assume? She's oh. a White Sox Dave fan, apparently. That, you guys, that's so unfortunate. You no, guys are. I, I, no, I am. Okay, Family yeah. Guy's great. We can talk some Family. Let's yeah, talk Family no, Guy. Quagmire's a great character. Great, Quagmire's the funniest character on the show. Yeah, Bro, he's... pick a human. <laughs> what, what are we doing? I, might, I might decide pick to go living, that route later actor. on. You like talked about my like Kramer of dick jokes. You did all cartoons, and he's a pervert. This guy is like, yeah, the yeah but dick it's, it's, this it's, is, it's, it's it's well delivered. You could, Kramer is just like <laughs> sliding through doors a hundred times a day. Is no. this guy voiced by somebody big? Who's Seth his voice? Uh, is it Seth MacFarlane? Yeah, oh, yeah. Seth MacFarlane. Okay. I would assume he does like all the voices. Well, Mila Kunis Wait, does. Voice. I, I, obviously, That's there's actually. yeah, it is Seth MacFarlane. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, but I, he's he's the funniest character on one of the funniest shows ever. Damn, if there's a big animated community out there, this is a landslide for Dave. For a fourth round pick, <laughs> it is a grand slam of a pick. Third round pick. For me, it's... F or you're a third round pick. But you're up. But I'm up again. Hey, come on. Dude. All right, give us something from Three King Cartoon of the Hill next. Gary Coleman? Yeah. It's not right. It is very at, right. At this point, you got to go all animated. Yeah, uh, I, I want to, but I, I have to pick this man... Because, like I said, I, I want to formulate a list of people that I, like, actually, you know, approach life following their their guidance throughout their character development. And I'm going to go with Al Bundy. I've drafted him, like, probably ten times over the course of the last three years. Yeah. Yeah, these two are shaking their heads at each other. They don't even know who Al Bundy is. Let me can you tell people Al about Al Bundy? How many touchdowns do you have What's in that the game? show? Four. Married. He had four touchdowns at Polk High Married with in children. one game. Okay. Never seen it. Married I with Children. Married with Children. It's an 80s, Never early 90s it. sitcom based in Chicago, but it was like nationally. It was on Fox. I believe Fox, right? Yep. Eddie, um, how do you feel about the pick, Eddie? Yeah, it's, good, it's a good show. It, it, it's a good show. And he'll get a lot of love for it. He's like a beloved character because he was just a curmudgeon shoe salesman who never wanted to have sex with his wife. Yeah. Like, he's just <laughs> – and, and the wife walked yeah. kind of fine. Yeah. That's yeah. really – you really – that's you. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. That's, yeah. That's Dave. I yeah. love like that. Dave, okay, in then. one way or another, has like drafted himself. That's <laughs> what I just said I was going for. Yeah, oh, you got. You it. just you're, took my Costanza pick. You're nailing it. Or Glenny did. No, I have Costanza. Or no, I wrote that wrong. You do. I have. should have Costanza, you know, but. Well, oh no, no, I I have him Frank Costanza. What's his name in? The other Arthur show. Spooner? Arthur Spooner. Ah, uh, Glenny, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna go here with a uh, another Chicago-based show. 
I think um, I think this guy, I forget he's even this funny because I don't watch the show as much as I should, but one of my favorite shows ever. I'm going to go with Rafi from The League. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yes, great pick. God, I think Jason damn. Manzoukas yes. is utterly fucking insane. And Rafi from The League, if The League was just a little more popular, he would be the funniest character in TV, maybe in TV history. I Dude, love Rafi. Glenny, I've, I've only seen maybe that. eight episodes of that show. And I, yeah. It's fucking laugh out loud funny. He's it, by far the fucking funniest these, character. I was. It I took was me a second to click, four, too more picks I gotta get Rafi and Rafi Rafi in the league when you watch the league him his episodes of Dirty Randy actually maybe my favorite quote of all time is including Dion Dion has a cameo in it mm -hmm. they're filming a porn in this in this apartment that Jenny that Jenny is like trying to show Dion and him and Dirty Randy Seth Rogen are, are filming a like <laughs> Egyptian themed porn in there and Dion just walks in he goes what's happening here and Rafi just goes Dude, I don't know who you are, but you're about to get chlamydia. <laughs> like, he's, like, Rafi's the best. He's so fucking funny. I, you said you inspired Mush to rewatch whatever show it was earlier. King You've of Queens. inspired, because I have to start that from scratch. I never actually did. I've just yeah. kind of seen dude, episodes. The league, the league is a great show. It's, I love the league. Whatever I've seen of it, it's been laugh out loud funny, and he's been the best character. So have you guys watched it? No. It's great. I love it. I was going to be my next pick, so that's a, it's. So I should have. So I was was smart doing that yeah. there. I okay. think if that show were more popular, then he would have been like a first round pick, maybe. I don't yeah. know why it's. Well, I don't know why it didn't take off. I don't. Because it, it, it did a lot of seasons. It wasn't good after like the first season, and I think the central that's theme of being of like fair. let's talk about our fantasy football is you know that gets a little True. tired. So it did get a little bit yeah shitty at the end. Seven seasons is a lot. Yeah. I think they have like yeah, enough. Then, like yeah. the last two, I think they were using it basically as a way to get people to get to FXX. They were only airing on FXX. Yeah. So they I think it was always pretty sunny big. too. Yeah. They moved them over there. Mm. Stank. All right. Uh, Chief. All right. I feel like this won't be appreciated by the panel. Um, but do you, and no, any 30 Rock fans here? No. I heard it's good, but. Yeah. No. Alec Baldwin's character, Jack Donahue, is. If someone took him in the first round, I would I would be fine with it. He's like the perfect corporate douchebag. Like he he nails it. Like the hair. Like he's like the quintessential like stereotypical like Republican business guy working for GE. Mm -hmm. He's so fucking funny. One liners. It was my dad's favorite show. And like when he would watch it, he would get mad at us for laughing too loud because he it would cause him to miss the, <laughs> the next, next joke and so that was like a, he's like shut up don't don't laugh too loud because we didn't have like tv or move. tvr or anything at that point so but jack donahue for me like he's an iconic character hilarious character and i feel like that show i don't it was on for a long time but i don't think it ever like it never like captured the public the way that like seinfeld. friends or yeah. seinfeld or the office did and i think it overlapped kind of with all of those so that's probably why maybe it but just, it, it was a it was a fantastic show tina fey was like the main i writer. love her yeah yeah so jack donahue i wish i could comment yeah you dave you would love it you would love people it. have said that to me actually uh marty you're up we just talked about this person but i'd be doing a disservice to myself so joey from Friends is my uh, next one. He's, he's, I watch it literally, I watch it for the past like six months every night. So I have to say Joey, he's really, I think he's the funniest one. Their relationship is the best oh, it's, it's beautiful. out of everybody's. It's a beautiful relationship with just two best buds hanging out, living together. One moves out, finds his queen. It's a beautiful thing. And especially in the beginning seasons together when they're both oh, like, amazing. when they're when they date the same person at the one point was great. When they when they fight Kathy. and they get back. Speaking yeah. of Joey, you know what's one thing I've always wanted to watch and I watched when it came out. Haven't watched it since and I, I don't even know if you could find it anywhere. I want to watch Joey. Oh, the yeah, spinoff? I do too. I don't even know if they have it on anything. Uh, it's obviously was hard. I heard it was Might horrible, be on like but I it was watch. it was an NBC show, I'm sure, right? They gave it 46 episodes. Oh. Yeah, it was on NBC. So and maybe it's on, it might be on like, like Peacock. It's NBC or something. they gave Joey 46 episodes. I like don't know if it's on Peacock. I really don't. Hmm. I I I gotta try to watch episodes. I would like to watch episodes. Do you think he should have been the one to get his own series though? I think he was probably the most open to it. I think. I mean, I don't really know. They also they all all made so much money. I feel like Schwimmer's more of like a but he artistic like, guy. He's like a Schwimmer theater went, guy. Like yeah. He he was good. Like Matthew he like, Perry's more of a. I think he like kind of hated being Chandler. Kind of. I think seemed. Joey was the only one that wasn't really taken off after. Yeah. You know, like. 
Courtney Cox do anything? Yeah, she was. She, uh, she was screams. Wrong. She had yeah. the show on um like TNT for a while. Okay. With like the, the with like the milfs. Longest yard. What was it? Yeah, the long. She what? was. She looked so hot in that movie. Great she was hot. No, what? she had a show on. She had a show on TNT where she was like a. She was like a cougar, or I think it was maybe called Cougars. Cougar uh, Town. Yeah. Cougar Town. It was something something like that. But I think I also think Joey's like the most beloved character, and he had the mo. And he had the easiest. He had the only open plot basically because Phoebe was getting married. Yeah. Phoebe got married. Ross and Rachel were going to go live together. Chandler and Monica moving out of the city. Then Joey was alone, so he moved to L.A. and pursued his acting career. Friends lost me, though, when Joey and, and Rachel, got Rachel together. were getting together. Just nothing. Eddie, you really have nothing of no show. You watch fucking dirt all day. What do you watch when you go home? <laughs> I watch what do you watch when you go home? Uh, I see you're, like, glazing into the screen. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Ross and Rachel are? <laughs> To his defense, I don't know what you guys are talking and, about either. I never watched it. And Eddie was, he suggested this topic. Because yeah. I, I, I know do, he's on Because I do things this. for the, I don't, you know. Yeah, I do you're all the about people. the people. Yeah, I do things for the people. <laughs> but honestly, what do you watch when, like, you go to bed? You putting on like fucking Titanic. He watches other people's ring cameras. Uh, <laughs> that is true. That is very true, Marty. <laughs> hey, dude. Honestly, though, balls would love that. Uh, like scary ring doorbell videos on YouTube. Dude, I love that. I don't, too. I don't like those at all. It doesn't sound like Dude, it's terrifying. Me at all. It's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I'm not excited about <laughs> don't, that. Don't get into it. I it's do not. So you're I mean, a YouTube are you a YouTube guy? Yeah, I do YouTube. I watch like podcast clips and I'll do like uh I like documentaries. Like I you know, I just watch Painkiller, mm -hmm. uh Dope Sick. I like I like that kind of I don't of like shit. Dope Sick. Like you don't ever feel like that's exhausting before going to bed. Like when you're in bed, it's like, oh let me just put on Entourage. Something comfort. Like I've seen comfort I've, show? I've seen Entourage. But like what's your comfort show? Uh, so family have, matters. I don't really have one to go to bed. <laughs> family matters. I I fall asleep to that the same shit that he does. It sounds like like, like documentaries is good fun. Like a British dude that's like a hundred years old narrating something doesn't matter what. I will don't put you to sleep in five minutes. I agree oh, I with the exception of your World War Two shows, which is those explosions going off. Not necessarily. <laughs> a lot of times. Not necessarily. Have you seen That's like I, I do a lot of TV dramas? Like I've seen all the big ones: Breaking Bad, Sopranos, The Wire. You've never seen The Wire, I bet. No, I have. Asshole. Surprise. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I have, but those I get too interested in. I'm saying, like, I need something that I've seen so many times that I'm yeah. like, all right, I can fall asleep. Oh. Well, well, I like, need high Sopranos, brain activity. So <laughs> oh, I don't like brain activity, obviously. I don't either. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to do a Bell TV things. drama draft and a TV character drama because we never delved into that, and I'm going to fucking do good in that. You watch. Okay. You watch. Right. Uh, You're also, up. Speaking of Joey Balls, uh, <laughs> Drea DiMartino. Drea Di uh, is, she was his it. sister, yeah. Yeah. So My current white whale on OnlyStands, but I can't get her. Hi. Why not? I don't know. I, I DM'd her. I tweeted at her. I... Treasure in my stories. I don't what know how this? to find her. Are you she subscribed? has only fans now. She has a management team. I'm sure you haven't emailed them. I got to figure it out. Who is this? Uh, Adriana from Sopranos. Oh yeah. She's low key in three of my favorite. Nah, well, she's not in Joey. I take that back. I mean, she's not a friend. She's in Joey. All right, to me. Uh, do you want to do like an ad? Cap it off, Ed. Oh, Ed. Uh, well, I feel like the draft, it needs some Full House. Full House is a good show. This At least tell me that. This fucking stinks. <laughs> what is wrong with Full House? <laughs> are you going to draft Mary Kate and Ashley? No. Well, who's, who are you drafting? It? I'm taking Uncle Jesse. Uh, I'm okay. With one, that. Yeah, a hilarious guy. It's not a fucking <laughs> funny draft, you moron. How many times do you got to go I, through this? Uh, <laughs> Uncle Jesse. All right, cross it off your boards. What's wrong with Uncle Jesse? Tell me what's wrong with him. <sighs> it, you, you've taken, like, nothing but outdated, vanilla, unfunny sitcoms. But that's with the, the exception that's, of that's, Michael but Scott. But to me, like, that's also a sitcom. Like, that's that was an era. Okay. You don't like, like, The Wonder Years, Boy Meets World. I love The Wonder Years. I love The Wonder well, Years. Boy Meets I loved Boy there, Meets You should have taken a character from The Wonder Years because there's one that is, like, relatable and funny. Maybe you'll do it right now. No, this but is you just, haven't seen the one. This is piling on to pile on. <laughs> no, at this it's point. Not. I will, Uncle Jess, I, I, will, I liked Full House growing up. Like he was like the one guy I like. I mean, Uncle Joey was kind of funny. Yeah, he was a comedian because uh, he had puppets. If I took the puppet guy, you guys would <laughs> do that too. 
<laughs> and you know you would. You're like, oh, you like the guy who had puppets on his hands. I'm, I'm the only one defending you here. Yeah, he was defending you. You just lashed out. You yeah, you, you lashed out the one guy defending your pick. Yeah, you should right, apologize. I missed, I missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think history will look kind on my draft. Uh, well, I can't say that, will I? Uh, I'm between two here. I need to hear the one after. This yeah, one. yeah. You might as well. You, I think <laughs> we, we should allow you I to have six picks on your board. It, so you could have six picks. Six. Everyone else has five. I can get a, I can get a half a yeah. half graphic. Yeah. Yep. Well, that'll be the first ever. Yeah. You will still, won't, you still won't make the poll. The yeah, ever. you're still not going to make it, but it's well, actually make very nice of you guys. Yeah, charitable. All right, I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna do Mike Seaver from Growing Pains. Good character, yeah, good one. He's great. Yeah, it's funny. I love that, Chief. You said that's a good one, and he's like, yeah, yeah, he's great, right? Like he's like <laughs> yeah, looking for sure acceptance. That right. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good character. You guys, see, you don't know about that. These guys are too young, uh, Chief. No, Growing it's a great show. Growing great, Pains, great, awesome. great best friend name too. Boner. Yeah. Boner. He had a he had a best friend's name is Boner. I considered Boner here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Wilson from Home Improvement. <laughs> the half face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, did he ever that's crack a, a joke the entire show, or did he just offer he would Wilson do like, or not uh, Wilson? Uh, I feel like he did like Tim, pops, popsicle stick kind of jokes. He just offered wisdom and like sage yeah. advice the whole time. He was the opposite. He was. You just drafted the three eye Raven basically, but you can only see half his face. <laughs> but that's a funny joke that hit every time. The guy like. That's kind of funny. The guy. Didn't, the just, last episode, he, you saw his face, so it doesn't even count. You saw his face. Yeah, because it was the finale, Dave. I know. It still stinks as a pick. Wilson. I think that this might be the worst draft performance of all it time. It might <laughs> sincerely be. He has Michael Scott on his board. Yeah. I don't even know like how to talk because I don't know any of these good people. I don't know those. I, I would like to. I put Arnold rat- for his. I don't even remember what his last name was. He drafted a guy I've never heard of. What you talking about, Willis? That's your fault. But that's not Arnold. my fault. About Willis. <laughs> You've never seen The Office either, so why you didn't like Michael Scott? I didn't. No, I didn't argue with Michael Scott. That's a, obviously it's Michael Scott. I'm, I'm, and he's taking I'm it out sad. on me because we did a podcast where we called him Michael Scott, and he didn't like it. <laughs> I feel bad that I shit on your Michael Scott pick. Looking at the rest of your yeah. Board. I wish I had the foresight to be more charitable you know what? in that moment. That's it's true. fair. That is very fair. Yeah. We, th- we thought better of you. That's why we were yeah. making fun of you at first. And then we're like, oh, this makes sense. I think I got a good board. Uh, I, I'm good board. not even joking. I think this is the worst draft performance. No, it's not. One through six, <laughs> I think it's the worst draft performance in the history uh, One of through show. six, it might it's be. a one-on-one. <laughs> sure. It's horrible. No, I think pe- a lot of people will. <laughs> been defending me on this one. I'm like really excited to see this graphic. Right? Dude, if, if Twitter came did out you, 91, it would be a game over for Ed. Did you, uh, did you ever one time laugh when Tim Taylor was like, <laughs> like that's funny? That's <laughs> yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, that's kind yeah. of funny. You don't like Tim the Tool Man Taylor? No, I love Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Yeah, what's but wrong with Wilson? Nothing's wrong, Heidi. but you never one time he didn't one time walk into his backyard and see Wilson and you laugh because you could only you're like oh. But I, I just honestly it's more so just an iconic character to me. Like the guy just his whole bit was that he couldn't see his face. It was it's so bad that it's good almost. Not even bad, but it's just so one trick and that's good. Uh Marty, you're up. I have to go with this guy. We've talked about the show a lot already. I was going to go with the one show, but I, I only watched it when it was on TV. I'll say, I guess I'll wait for the honorable mention because I'm not going to have six like you, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go. I'm going Newman. I, I love nice. Newman. I That's a great, a great pick is in such the fifth a, round. Every time he got on the screen, I would always laugh. And when he would be in some situations where I'm like, and there always is that Newman in any apartment building. You know, there's always <laughs> that one guy that's been there. And you know who he is. And I love Newman. So I think especially fifth round, it's a great pick. One of the all-time great TV rivalries is, is uh, Jerry Seinfeld versus Newman. When he just goes, Newman, it's always Newman. funny. Yeah. You know what no I always what. appreciated it, much like Glenny Balls, is there is a handful of scenes when Newman would be running, and that guy can fucking fly for a man of girth. He's fast he as fuck. Knight. He is fast. Wow, I didn't even think of that. He is very He's fast. Quick Legend. little feet. Are you sure that's him? Yeah. It's on a double? No, it's him. It's really? him. Yeah. 
Eddie's you, fucking. You're not a Seinfeld takes, like, guy, short, right? Short Eddie's, steps, Eddie's, Eddie's fuming that they're agreeing with my pick. I'm, no, I'm just it's, asking. It's I'm not fuming. No, no. Yeah, I, it's just if I watch Seinfeld, always sunny. Like I'm everyone. You guys would all be sucking to be a, a five way sucker. <laughs> yeah, right you now. would. Yeah, you probably wouldn't <laughs> have That's fucking Uncle Jesse. Yeah, and board, if I watch Married yeah. with Children, I mean, yeah, yeah. Say you have a great. Uh, yeah, pick. I'll, I'll I'm, watch Urkel. I'm pretty confident Eddie would have taken Newman if he was a Seinfeld guy, because he had that he had that whole dog killing Can you stop being stubborn and watch it? I'll watch it, all right? It's on Netflix. You I'll do have it. to watch Seinfeld. How have you not watched Seinfeld? I want to. I know I'd there, like it, but I, dude, I don't like shows. It's a commitment, dude. There's so many but episodes. I'll, I'll give you an episode that you'll love. It's when Newman comes up with a plot to abduct and kill dogs. You'll love it. No, I don't want right to watch your, it. It's right up yeah, your alley. You don't also, watch Curb, right? You don't watch that either? No. Jesus Christ. That's a shame. I thought you were a cultured guy, Ed. Me too. Dude, no. I literally just... Have you seen The Wire Balls? <laughs> I watched a few episodes of the oh, track. Oh, two episodes. Five I stopped say, watching the wire. I gave it a like, shot at least. I stopped watching it like five times, balls. So I and, couldn't get hooked at all. And Small also, brain. I want to comment one thing on what you just said. How many episodes are about sitcoms? Don't compare sitcoms to a show like The Wire. Or yeah, like they're Game twenty of minutes. Those are shows you got to be zoned in on. Yeah. Seinfeld, you can just throw on and watch a few episodes. Like I, I started King of Queens, like I said last month, and I'm still on season one, but I'm just watching one or two every few nights, and it's great. I'm already on season four. Yeah. Right, Arthur, it's amazing. No stress, it's just a nice sitcom. You need something. To, you're probably already. You're all stressed all day. Probably. You need to fucking relax a little bit. Stop watching World War II documentaries and like fucking. Drop relax. the Ken Burns and he pick up the Larry he David. He doesn't watch World War II documentaries. He doesn't watch anything that actually exercises his brain. He, he watches yeah, like you, the Nickelodeon. Oh, remember Nickelodeon documentaries? It's yeah, also crazy that when we ask him what he watched for Betty, just can't give you an actual answer. I did. I already told you. No, it was like oh, it was like doc, a very huge genre of documentaries and ring cameras. No, no, I watch I watch in that uh, the wrestling uh, doc that's on um, Netflix right now. It's pretty good. You should watch that one. Yeah, you remember the name? Uh, I think it's just called Wrestlers. Yeah, it's called the right. Wrestlers. I would that, watch it. Yeah, yeah. That was I like I fucking like I watched like Last Chance You. That shows my shit. Like shit. Watch like Get that. Gotti yet on Netflix? I finished that last night. I haven't seen that yet. Very a lot, interesting. A lot of talking, it. but I liked it yeah. so far. The documentary had a lot of talking. It was like not too many. I need more pictures. <laughs> there wasn't many pictures. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that was a good one, boss. <laughs> I did. No, it was, it was, I need more pictures. It was I like a stupid comment. Out a little bit. <laughs> A black well, like they acted I, out a little. Bit. Oh, you mean like black you want that, you want a documentary that they have like the fake actors? Yeah, I like doing when it? they acted out. Yeah, like History okay. Channel documentaries. Yeah, docudrama. Yeah. That, I you was watching Making of the Mob on Amazon. They do that. It's great. I was on one of those. I actually yeah. tried to get Ed to watch the Civil War one. It's excellent. I love Black Mirror. Yeah, you do. Uh, Very good show. Stranger Things is great, and I do like those, like like the Manti Teo doc and the uh, Johnny Football yeah, doc. Those are like, nice. I do those. I the Swamp King or uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, Tiger King. Uh, no, the Swamp one. Yeah, with the, the Florida Meyer. football. Like, I that do one, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That one sucks. Like sports docs. I fucking I love that shit. You love sports. Yeah, I like, I like that kind of shit. Yeah, um, there's a different side of you. They have you haven't opened up yet, and it's going to be a whole new world when you start watching. All this right, stuff. what um, kind of like ever expansing brain do you have, Mush? What do you mean? Like I'm not you're, picking you're, Urkel in the third round. That's what I'm not doing. You're you're better than him, but that still doesn't mean you're good. I don't, yeah, Marty, I just you did that, earlier say I only watch Entourage, King of Queens, and Curb. No, yeah, I watched, and then you said you I've need more pictures in classics. your documentaries. Don't I bash I my guy Ed. You leave that to me. <laughs> I've watched all the classic shows. I think you can't talk shit. Dave could talk shit. Yeah, I watched that's Cheer fun, on Netflix. Fun, great fucking show. That is a great show. Shout out to Coach Monica. They're gonna win I Daytona. Love, I love Coach Monica. <laughs> She's the best. Squid Game. Why didn't you pick one of them? Squid Game is awesome. They're not. It's, sitcoms. it's reality. Yeah, it's, it's reality. Ah, uh, Chief, you're up. Taking Ron Swanson, Parks and Rec. Uh, might have had characters that I. I'm just going five different shows. I have some characters that I like better, but uh, he's a classic one. He's he to me is like the subtly funniest guy on that show. I feel like we don't have a lot of Parks and Rec people on this uh, on this panel, but it's 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 great. It was like I feel like that was like the gr the last great network TV sitcom. There hasn't all the good sitcoms since have been HBO. So uh, Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. Blank stairs yeah, from I, New York. I, 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 he is the best character of that show. I never. I tried getting into it. It's it's very dry, right? Yeah, it's pretty dry. 
Yeah, I'm not completely dry. It either, has. But it's, yeah, I don't watch it, but every, obviously every movie I, I know see he's Nick Offerman in. He's I know he's yeah. the best character in that. And so it, it, okay m- you could argue that it has like the most successful cast post uh, post the start of that show with, uh, that is true. you know, who's the who's he's the like, draft? Pratt. Yeah, Chris Plaza. Pratt. Thank you. Oh, there's uh, Plaza's in it, right? Aziz Ansari. The Aziz. cast is beyond loaded. Yeah, with it's, it's huge. I've never even seen it. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, you, pl- you it's on once on TV. You're like you know every person in it. Yeah, right. I've seen him in a movie somewhere. And isn't it like a shock that he became like the biggest one? Chris Pratt. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was. Oh, uh, his his wife in that is super famous now too. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like he was. He was. Is like that a, Aubrey Plaza, right? Yeah, Aubrey Plaza. Thank you. I'm so bad with celebrity names. I'm but bad too. He uh, he was like definitely like uh, a bit character that everybody and he was like fatter back then. Like he became an action hero like post that show. Like he was kind of like just like this silly, stupid, mm-hmm. you know, slapstick comedy kind of guy, but funny. Uh, and yeah, he's a he's obviously a megastar now. All right, Glenny, you're up. I'm gonna take uh, Kevin from the. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, we said no HBO, right? Correct. But I could do. Can we do round, other? You know can we do other premium channels? I think you can do. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think you yeah. can do other premium channels. Can I yeah. do Showtime? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm gonna do Hank Moody. From That's a great pick. Great pick. What is it? California Cation. Outstanding, outstanding fucking show balls. Such a good show if no one's watching. It's basically just Showtime's answer to Entourage. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Awesome. Pretty much. Really? I yeah, actually think awesome. it, like, in a lot of ways, it's better than Entourage, though. I'm not going to sit here and say that, but it's very, it's clearly, 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 like the way the, the time it came out, it's clearly Showtime's answer to Entourage. Hank Moody is a famous author. And he just runs around LA. He's like a hip, yeah, it's, fucks it's every rocks. hot girl on earth. Um, it's it's a it's a great show. Da- it's Hank David Duchovny, awesome yeah, yeah. yeah. X Files, yeah. yeah. It's outstanding two, show. It's very funny. The two horny guys liking this show. It makes. Sense. Oh, it has like the most boobs of any show. It's go. like the American Pie beta house of television. <laughs> but yeah. it's but he's a really funny character. Hank Moody's great. It's I love Hank Moody. Yeah. Right, perfectly Dave, good. Uh, and Dave agree. So uh, last Dave, night he was on my board for sure. Mister um, Irrelevant, David. He doesn't deserve to be Mr. Irrelevant, but Randy Marsh. I'm going back to South Park. I'm going with another guy's ca- cartoon on. character. Why did you pick guy. one? Why did you pick one real person? You yeah. just went all yeah, it me. sucks. It. I went with my favorite characters. I got like legit all my favorite characters ever on on my board. Yeah, so I'm completely happy with cartoons. it. And and just because you could, like South Park is on season 25 or something. It's one of the all time most popular shows. It just put out a new episode two nights ago. And it's like still fucking breaking records for when they drop uh, new episodes. And Randy Marsh is, if you ask any South Park fan who your favorite character is, a ton of them are going to say Randy Marsh. He remi- my dad reminds me of him too. He's just about a fucking idiot. I'm sorry? You're not nervous about this graphic at all? No, not at all. Well, he's got Eddie I, to back him up, so. It's just so. Uh, the, a four person sample of people that don't happen to watch South Park isn't my problem. The graphic. People watch South Park. I think you guys should take take it against them on that. Personally, I think it's a little. Uh, I think <clears throat> it's a little childish what you did. It's juvenile, some would say. Yeah, juvenile. The writing's not juvenile. It's right very much not. It's very deep. Marty couldn't watch it because he wouldn't understand any of it. I watched. I would get really high and watch it, and then I'd be like, oh, "That was stupid," but it was funny. It's not something I would watch every like every single time. Because he doesn't understand the the connotation of each episode. You you said oh, it was your making. Brain a, what was the line you said about one time? Uh, the they there's an episode called I know I think I know what you're talking about. It's called Margaritaville, where I I sincerely believe that they break down the 2008 housing crisis better than like any professor could. <laughs> better than your brain short. has not grown. Since yeah, 15. I don't. I just, I love that movie, and I don't know what the fuck's going on in it. Oh, okay. Wait, did you say the Big Short? Yeah, I asked him if South Park did a better film. job than that. Yeah, it's one of my short. favorite movies. But it's a great movie, but do you understand what they're talking about in it? Yeah. No, yeah, you don't. They, I feel like they explain it pretty thoroughly. They, they go out of their way. Marty doesn't it's... fucking explain it. Explain, explain to me what happened then, Marty. What did they, the what happened? The housing market was like, no, it was like the easiest thing to 
put your money into like the how it, it was never crash and this guy found out it was going to crash early on went to a bunch of people they said you're crazy that's not going to happen and then it happened okay that's a clip notes that's good enough <laughs> i actually accept <laughs> just, that it's what happens <laughs> yeah nice. it's one of my favorite but I, that's, the movie I, I knew that too but me, beyond that like i don't know all the finance lingo shit but they oh, whatever i'm they, sure there's some words i I they have Selena Gomez. They have like yeah. oh, they bring in people and they cut away from the main movie. To right, I know. Out of their blackjack table and right, all that, of course. It but it's you. still a lot. It's still a lot. <laughs> okay. That's why he's got cartoons on his. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you can't watch things that don't have still shot pictures in them. Oh, no, I can. No, I don't he watch needs them acted out. Horses in it. Oh, is that Anything what it was? With a horse, I'm out. Well, he told. Boss, did he not say that to you? He needs more pictures? Yeah, he needed more pictures for the John Gotti documentary. I think that's fair. Um, can I ask you, honorable mention, something? Yeah. Obviously, uh, one person on this show, not this show, the show I'm about to say, is Bad Guy. Um, but that 70s show, did you guys watch that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Big time. No. I, had, I had Red on my list. Re he was yeah. the best character Red on that was, show. Red yeah. was going to be on their mind as mm -hmm. well. I didn't know if... It's a touchy subject. That, that you probably liked show, Kelso but. for the same reason you like Kramer. <laughs> no, I didn't like Kelso. I liked Red. I never watched Kramer's it. an iconic fucking character. Like people have posters he is. of that. He guy. is for sure. It's, like, but jo I, and I'm, I was honest. George is my favorite character, but I got I got crazy. So you'll be voting for me when the poll comes yeah, out. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, then. Any other honorable mentions? Yeah, I've got I a had. Few. Uh, I got oh, a no, ton. Please go, Chief. No, go ahead, Glenny. Um, I was actually bored on the train today. I don't know how I came across. I think I wrote a blog about him the other day, so this just made me think about him when he started winning. Um, I was watching some Charlie Sheen interviews today on the train. Insane. Charlie Harper and Two and a Half Men. He was I haven't great. watched it in so long, so I felt bad picking it, but he's hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. I think Roy Kent from Ted Lasso is fucking really, really funny. I yeah. was considering Roy Kent with my last pick. But those are, those are my two biggest honorable mentions. Wait, do I, do I have any more? Who else did I have written down? Roy Kent, Charlie Harper, and I just had Putty written down as well. Yeah. Hmm. Putty, Putty is great. a good one. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I had also from 30 Rock, Tracy Jordan. He's Tracy Morgan basically just playing himself. It was very funny. He's got to be funny. Uh, great. Andy, Dennis, Mac. Uh, and then I feel like nobody watches. You guys watch Miss Maisel? Have you ever seen that show? I saw the finale with my mom. That's about oh, it. so I, I heard it's awesome. I didn't want. I didn't see the finale. I kind of dropped off of it for personal reasons. <laughs> but um, the dad in that, Abe Weissman, is like the funniest TV dad of all time. Like he's he is so fucking funny, and uh, so he deserves a shout out. And that show is a very good show. Dave, uh, Butter Stotch. From South Park, Mr. Garrison from or Mrs. <laughs> or just Garrison from South Park, depending I, I, on the I'm gonna add one. I'm going to add one in for Dave. How about Stewie Griffin from Family Guy? I That's had Stewie I, on there. I Stewie's had Brian hilarious. on there. I had Estelle Costanza. Estelle's great. Elaine Dave, that's who, I, uh, yeah. that's who I whispered to Glennie during that. Was Estelle? Stewie. No, Stewie. Stewie? I love Stewie. <laughs> Stewie's great. Um, Charlie Kelly, Brian. Uh, Lieutenant Dangle and Niecy Nash from... Reno 911. Balls, you never watch Reno? No. Oh, it's such a fucking perfect show. Uh, you know, it's actually another one that just popped in my head that I haven't watched a show in so long, but he was always funny. Uh, the brother and everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, the big tall cop. Brad Garrett, whatever yeah. his name I'd like was. I'd like to he shout really out funny. my brother. Was, I, he's like, oh, you're doing a draft today. And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, do Ray Romano. I said, that's the one of the worst picks I've ever heard. <laughs> Ray Romano's the most unfunny guy Whoa. in that show. Oh, in that show, sure. I, mean, I, think he's I have a show. few I just TV both, shows right? I'll never watch just out of sheer principle, and Everybody Loves Raymond's one of them. And then uh, what's the one? Name some more of the stupid fucking network ones. I don't know. Whatever. I feel like Two and a Half Men is kind of in that category. Big Bang Theory? Big, Big Bang. Bang. That's the one. Fun. Big Bang Theory. Thank you. I'll never watch a second of that show out of principle. Um, I, two and a Half Men was, was great high, with Charlie Sheen. High, it was high on Ed's list. He wanted to go Bazinga. He was just... I never seen race. it, but now I wish I did. I, that was like so popular, I would have got hella votes. Hella? Yeah. Hella. Don't say, hella. Do you say hella now? You say <laughs> hella? I'm saying hella. You've been hanging out with Nikki Smokes the, uh, too much. Yeah. yeah. Mixing it a couple times a year. 
get Nicky Mush on the draft so he could help you out and make sure you're not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, Nicky Mush, he's afraid of the pizza guy. I do want to give a quick <laughs> shout out to Barney Gumbel. I love Bar- Barney Gumble. Yeah, there's a ton of great Simpsons. Yeah, they sent characters. like Seinfeld. Yeah. The side characters are what make the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, and that was another head. suggestion I had for you. Had, like tertiary characters. Yeah, like side. Like th- just that's the side guys. The table. We could still do that. Yeah, we've done that for uh, Christmas before. I also for, think it, I also think a fun draft would be like just like TV show or movie cameos, but it has to hmm. be like a cameo, like Brett Favre's best cameo. The Rock and Samuel Jackson are the other guys. You guys want to hear my honorable mentions? Sure. Yeah, I I actually, say, yes. Read your list. I got Click five. Click into your link. I got Sean Hunter. Okay. I don't know who that is. Frank Gallagher. Okay. Now, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's a good pick. Wait, who is he again? Shameless. That's Shameless. If people do love Frank Gallagher. I forgot about Shameless. He's a great character. I didn't finish it, so I mean... I felt like I you you finished different strokes though. Well, that's like that's pick up TV. <laughs> that, he's right there. That's he's right there. TV. I've never watched oh. Seinfeld start to finish. I but had, you've seen uh, every episode. Yeah. I had Kevin Arnold. Kevin, I thought the dad was funnier than. Yeah, dad, dad was. Yeah, that was the a, dad was. Elite. I thought about putting him on because he's such a. It would have been what better a than great Wilson. character that guy. Oh, was. he was awesome. Uh, he's he was, just he, a, he was the quintessential angry dad. You think my honorable mentions are better? Yeah. Yeah. So far, your your yeah. draft is the worst draft ever. Seen. Uh, Dan Connor. Dan What's Connor. That? Oh, from uh, John Roseanne. Goodman, Roseanne's husband. Yep. He's just a Bears fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I had uh, Kelly Bundy just because I thought it'd be funny to draft that in front of Dave. Dave did say he wishes that she was his sister so he could fuck her. That's not what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Did. Um, did we miss it, Marty? Did you say yours or no? Yeah, I just uh, Stephanie show. Dale Gribble, that's another one. Uh, Mackenzie, you got any? Um, I will say tough draft for women. Yeah, a lot of men yeah. characters. Tough, tough draft. Oh, that is men. also. I didn't even think of that. Um, Elaine probably should have been drafted, but Ed was here, so she was mentioned though. Yeah, um, sure. I'm big on Gilmore Girls right now. I assume I don't think any of you guys. Oh, know. Rory, I'm pretty familiar Rory, with Gilmore. Rory okay. and, yeah. and um, no, Rory's the worst. Um, who, but Lorelei. who's your favorite, Logan or Luke? Who should who should she have ended up with? Oh, she ended up with Logan, but I'm a Jess girl. I'm a Jess guy too. That's Ventimiglia, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But Lorelai, I like Luke. I New know. girl, um, like Nick Miller. Yeah, and Schmidt. that's something people fucking love is New Girl. People yeah. love New Girl. I've yeah. watched it like six times over. What about Shit's Creek? That's also a very good show. I've watched that. a handful of episodes and it's it's very good from what I've seen. I should have just pandered and took all these people. It's you very wouldn't funny. You, you wouldn't know about them. And let's not shit talk Rory. Rory's she is the problem in most of. Rory absolutely stinks. Yeah. yeah, but she's. That's like my my ideal. It's like the the light eyes, the dark hair. From what show? <laughs> Gilmore. She's Gilmore beautiful. Brothers. She's beautiful. Yeah. And then she had like a little cameo in uh, Mad Men when she played like a crazy wife. And I'm oh, like, oh really? Oh yeah. Mackenzie oh, brought up a good It's point, Alexis though. Bledel. Yeah. 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 So I'm watching the ha- the handmade Hand tale I've right now. Seen that. Yeah. She's the main character. She's like my number one. She's gorgeous, I think. I don't like that. I know. But <laughs> I mean that just means you have good taste. Hey, dibs. You can have her. <laughs> <laughs> she She's got like point, the hottest though. eyes we, ever. We don't yeah. have enough female representation, so maybe this draft should stay in the can. <laughs> we should, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we don't release. I this think one. we could do it. We could have a, another person just take all female characters and still leave mop the, the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all on our Should we just let Mackenzie take my spot and just have all five? Yeah, female Mackenzie, characters? you want to give us five females? Oh gosh, <laughs> Elaine. Yeah, Elaine. Um, I would say Lorelai Gilmore. I guess yep. or Rory Gilmore would be like probably what more people know. Um, Jess from New Girl. Okay. Which, but I also think people are like annoyed by her. Um, shoot, who else? You can put D in there. Liz yeah, Lemon, yes. D. Yeah. Um, Do you ever seen the show Fleabag? Mrs. Cartman? No. Fleabag's I a very good show. <laughs> Rachel, Monica, Rachel. Phoebe. Yes, yep. All of Mrs. Them. Cartman. <laughs> Who's the best one, Mackenzie? In Friends? Yeah. Um, Rachel, probably. Okay. More of a Monica guy. 
dark hair, light eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be Elaine, Jess, D, Laura Lee, Gilmore, and Rachel. Yeah. Or, yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, you, Car- Carrie, you, you uh, just smoked Heffernan's Eddie. Now. Or um, Fran Drescher. Oh. The nanny. From, yeah. she's, she's an icon. Yep. All right, so uh, who are you guys voting off? <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I, I hate to say it, but I'm voting for you. You don't. What about Cartoon Boy? His, no, his no, draft is no his draft is infinitely better than yours. All right, we don't need a vote. <laughs> I'm voting Cartoon Boy off. Oh, oh. all right. I'm going to vote oh. Cartoon Boy off as well. Oh no, this is this is disingenuous though. Two votes for Cartoon Boy. One I'm vote voting for, me. for you. Yeah, Dave. Ed. All right, Marty. <laughs> you're the tiebreaker. <laughs> don't Marty. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> we don't. don't th- this this thing is built on integrity. You can't do. You can't side uh, with yeah, Eddie. Here. I, no, I, I am on integrity. The only reason I'm saying I'm on integrity is because the only way Dave wins this is if he just has these animated freaks just voting for That's him. That's not everything. true. Just because you haven't I, seen those shows, those are insanely popular and, characters. And clearly, they clearly the in the history of, of will, TV. I'm saying that if there's a bunch of animated guys out there, they'll love it and they'll vote for you. I'd rather have the live in action people with Eddie's people. I want to see how many votes Eddie's people get. Nobody, I don't even, didn't even hear what Gary Coleman's character name was because it's so old. He didn't even watch the show. What What you talking about, Willis? I want to see how it fares in the vote. (laughs) You should have hit him with what you're talking about, Willis. Name two more characters from that show. Uh... His, his brother. His brother. His sister. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Dad. I could have done that. Hold on. Give me a second. I know his brother. I know his fucking brother. Is it fucking Willis? No, it is Willis. Yeah, it is oh, Willis. Yeah. Okay, and, and one it's more. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, Willis? Uh, I forgot the sister. She had a bad drug problem in real life. Damn. Unfortunate. Uh, you don't remember her name or watch the show and care about it enough to remember her character. Dude, I watched a lot as a kid. All right. Don't fucking question that I like different strokes. I wouldn't have taken it. It's not like a popular nah, I, I, I watched different so strokes. He was my like dad. It. Yeah. yeah he was big Nick you didn't Nick watch guy. it, though. You watched it because your dad watched it. That's no, a, I watched it. It was Nick at Night. I took it in the was TV comedy night? draft. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. All right. Marty, thank you. Glenn, Whoa. thank you. Did Marty, where, how, we didn't hey, get Marty's Marty got a pick, right? We didn't. We didn't. Listen. You better tread carefully, Martin. <laughs> I and no, I'm not. I mean, talk, you better tread carefully, like Matthew. Keep talking like that, and you're Call gonna. You, I have something in my head what I want to say. If you have any more, do you have any more thoughts, Dave? Speak. I agree with you. Where it's like the cartoon freaks, like will freak out on us because we're calling them freaks, and I don't. I know he's gonna get some of those freaks mm-hmm. to do it. Uh, but I do, as a guy who got kicked off this draft for no reason. Mm. I, there's is an integrity and Dave those are near and dear to Dave and those are all Dave and Eddie you you I don't know what the fuck you would do with <laughs> this and I, I I would be disingenuous to it'd be funny if I just voted off Dave there but I'd be disingenuous and I'm voting off Eddie okay you're a smart man Martin well, thank you that's Marty. a fair that's fair yes. right yes Cartoon I, this wins. actually makes me sad for you why me too because like y- you're you go home and you don't watch anything good, and your life's just kind of sad. What are you talking? You guys have a shows from four, three different. I didn't. If I watch three shows and I, I had five the whole different shows, I had five right. different shows. There's a lot of people. Like, there's nothing wrong with Full House, Family Matters, Growing Pains. In this draft, yeah. If in this draft, yes, but that's what you're saying. Like, I live in an igloo. You yeah, live in an igloo. Watch, no, if we're you taking, don't watch, <laughs> you live in an igloo. You don't yeah. watch them anymore. Yeah, I know. All right, so I have a big gap that I need to fill up. <laughs> It's like a 25-year cabbage. All right, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm almost jealous of you that you get to watch all of these still. Yeah, see, that's... A a little less ring cameras and a little bit more... Dude, I got to stop watching those before bed. Those are scary. Dude, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, don't watch those. There's like people in masks ringing it at like 3 in the morning. It's fucking scary. Do you still have a meat locker? Meat locker? Yeah, Yeah, kind of. You still got one? Uh, The basement's pretty cold, yeah. Right. The new the new uh, office has like an industrial size meat locker. Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hang. We're fill our fill it with deer. Yeah, I call my basement the meat locker because uh, it's cold down there. You guys ever gonna go to that office or? If we're invited, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't really Hopefully. get invited. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, it would be funny if you guys just stayed in this. One <laughs> the entire time. We have it through we, the new year. We've been yeah, but they're taking all the tech out of here today. I thought they're leaving. No, they're taking it. 
They're taking it. I thought they were leaving the this studio and then taking everything else. No. Whatever. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, boys. Mackenzie. That was a fun episode. Yeah. It was yeah, a it fun was episode. Fun. Yeah, that's it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.